You folks probably know that for years I've been working to try to get a real payment limitation uh, in the farm bill so that 10% of the biggest farmers don't get 70% uh, of the income from the uh, farm program. Uh, part of that reform is to redefine what is a farmer. So I've asked the General Accounting Office for some help. This week I released such a report from the Government Accountability Office. I asked for this analysis of what are known as actively engaged regulations for eligibility in the federal farm program. In other words, who is a farmer and who isn't a farmer. The report clearly shows that some people are exploiting the farm program for personal gain. This hurts the case for keeping a safety net to ensure a safe and affordable food supply and to make sure that the family farmers can stay in business. The findings of the report are important as the House and Senate look to hammer out a deal on the Farm Bill which expired on October the 1st. In fact, after I released the report, members of Congress representing Southern Agriculture were quick to say that they plan to pull out the common sense farm payment reforms that are included in both the House and the Senate bills. That's bad news for people who want to maintain a safety net for the real farmers and the people who need it the most. The legislative language in the pending farm bill that I authored substantially limits farm program payments and makes it easier for the farm service agency in each county to enforce eligibility rules. It's the kind of reform that should strengthen support for the farm program by keeping the program focused and working as intended for the family farmer. I'm fighting for reforms and pressing the conference committee to keep their hands off this common sense provision. 